welcome back. So this is my first cast iron welding project. In general, I'm not a very experienced welder. I did a lot of research and bought the right types of materials, and I knew I needed a way to practice. So I went to a thrift shop and spent $5 on a used cast iron pan. This gave me all the practice I needed. It also allowed me to dial in the settings on the welder so that it would work well. When I switched to the actual chair project, I didn't have to adjust any of the settings. So I acquired this bench about five years ago. My sister bought a small hobby farm and it was laying in the woods on its side broken with rotted wood. I brought it home with the hopes that someday I would own an arc welder and a torch where I could preheat the metal. So last summer I acquired an arc welder and after repairing it, I've been able to do some more heavy duty welding. All I'm doing here is gouging out the metal on both sides of the weld joint so I have a good solid area to build new metal up with the welding rod. So all I'm doing is I'm depositing material in the joint and then switching to another one. And once I deposit material in all the joints, I stop. I clean off all the slag and junk with the needle scaler and the chipping hammer, and then I do it again. And I kept going until I had filled in the joints satisfactorily. Then I flipped it over to the other side, gouged those joints, and did the same process. You're trying to keep the layers of weld free of contaminants by cleaning the weld every time you let off. If you don't preheat cast iron up to a sufficient temperature, A, the weld won't work very well, and B, the metal will crack because the weld area is very hot and the rest of the metal is very cold. It creates this heat indifference and it causes stress fractures. So you have to get cast iron very hot before you weld it and then you have to allow it to cool down extremely slowly over several hours so it evenly cools down and evenly contracts and expands.
So all I'm doing here is using the die grinder and the sanding pad to kind of remove the excess metal I built up to try to mimic the shape of the original casting so it's as non-noticeable as possible. So I believe the original reason that the bench broke was that it had been repaired with new wood with bolts that were A, too small, and B, it was missing the lower angle supports. I believe someone sat on it and it kind of shifted sideways and that's how the cast iron originally got shattered. So in preparation for this project, I went on McMaster Car and ordered 5 16 stainless steel hardware in an effort to make the bolts bigger and stronger and also to have hardware that won't rust out. So I got the bulk of the paint off when I did the sandblasting. I know there's still some on the surface, so I'm using the self-etching primer just to make sure I get a really good bond. I also thought it would be funny to use two different high-quality companies' brands of enamel spray paint to see which one held up better. Typically, I use Rust-Oleum High Performance, but I've also had really good luck with the Krylon products too, so I thought it'd be fun to put them both in the same scenario and see what happened. All right. 